smile for the camera for a second. I'll make a still of that. I'm at my mom's house in New Jersey, sitting on the floor as I do, and we are about to make my father's pork chops. I haven't had them in a really long time. My father passed away four years ago, so we are going to recreate his recipe right now. You can hear my mom slamming stuff around in the kitchen. Let's go join her. This is my mother. Mom, say hi. Hello. Pan fried pork chops. That is what we're making. Mom is already at work. She is chopping scallions. A lots of scallions. My mom says scallion, but she means scallion. What did you say? Scallion. 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 Do you want me to do something, Mom? That's all right. Uh, I mean, I do know how to cook, but... <laughs> my mom's kitchen, my mom's rules. So about seven scallions that my mom just chopped. Pork loin, about two pounds, center cut chops. My mom just used her knife to whack the garlic on the side and that lets the cloves separate really easily from their skins. I had a two cloves. Two cloves? It looks, it, looks like, it looks like four to me. As you can see, there's no actual like measuring or anything. It's just do what you will. It's too thick. Mm -hmm. I have to cut it. I used to use this mallet when I was a kid to pound these for my dad. It feels really cool in my hands. I feel very powerful with this mallet. Tenderizing the meat. Flip to the other side. It was once this thick. Now it's this thick. You want to get them nice and thin. She just put on about, I'd say, three tablespoons soy sauce, about two tablespoons of sesame oil, and about, I would say, a teaspoon of black pepper. Four? Okay, three tablespoons. Okay, that's three. Three tablespoons of cornstarch. So cornstarch helps to tenderize the meat. So we got a lot of meat tenderizing going on in here between the mallet and the cornstarch and my mom's hands. So we're gonna sit for five minutes. She's gonna wash her hands because who wants porky hands? I should wash my hands too because I have porky hands. We've let the pork sit for about five minutes. My mom added another tablespoon, so that's now four tablespoons of soy sauce. And she just took out some oil. What is this, canola oil? No, it's just, this is a olive oil. Why do you not use a wok? Too heavy. She doesn't use a wok because it's too heavy. You heard it here first. Hi. High heat. This is mise en place. Everything in its place. Everything is prepped beforehand. So pork is ready to go. Scallions and garlic are ready to go. Those are pretty much the ingredients. The oil has been heated up and my mom is adding the pork one by one with her chopsticks. I think she may fit all of these pieces into the pan. She did it. That's amazing. They're nice and brown. And here come the scallions. Garlic and scallions together. Mmm, it smells like my childhood right now. Cooking through another minute, adding another three tablespoons of soy sauce. So we cooked the pork two minutes on each side, and now my mom covered it up, making it steam and cook all the way through, and that's been another minute or so. And you turn off. And then you turn off the heat. What are you looking for? I want to put some vegetable on it uh, so it looks better. You know what's great about this dish is you just leave it covered and it's ready when you are. Use the sauce, cook the broccoli. This would be good with some greens, some cabbage, some cauliflower, mm -hmm. some bok choy would be mm -hmm. excellent. But I do like broccoli. And so if you are a big fan of beef with broccoli and you're looking for something else to try at home, I recommend this dish. Stir fry the broccoli a little bit in all of the leftover juices for about two minutes. Now we're covering it up, cooking it until it's done. I would say another minute or so. Mom, how do you time these things out? I don't know. I never try anything. I just look. She just so, looks. Yeah. She feels it in her gut. Yeah. I do not want it to cook too, too soft. So uh, I want to eat it very crispy. Uh. And plus, it retains a lot of the nutrients when you don't cook it for too long. Here we have the broccoli, all done. 
and on top, just place all of the pork chops. I would like everyone to notice my mom's apron, which we gave her, obviously, because our dog is on it. <laughs> Truly is. This is how much my mom loves to eat. There's a dining room table here, and then a smaller table over there. Non-stop eating. This is dad's dish. Mm -hmm. How did he learn to make it? I don't know how he learned it, but I think your dad made much better than I do. Really? Mm -hmm. he, did he teach you how to make this? Well, I saw him did it. Uh, you didn't ask I him didn't for the recipe. Him, right. Okay. Mmm. Mmm, mom. So good. It tastes like dad's. And that took no time, <laughs> right? That took less than 20 minutes, mm. for sure. You can totally make this. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Do you want to see me cook more Chinese food with my mom? If so, just leave a comment. Here. Oh. Ooh. Bun. Just flour, salt, and scallion. Or scallion. <laughs>